Capitol building. And I'm from this place called Indiana, and we don't have things like anti-war rallies. So I wanted to see what it looked like. And, uh, I was actually in Prague a few years ago, and I attended an anti-war rally, and there were a million people showed up. Let's think about that, a million people. It was a beautiful thing to witness and be part of. And a week later, I was in Vienna, Austria, and I attended another anti-war rally. There were 500,000 people, half a million people. Just a beautiful thing. I came back home to Indianapolis, Indiana, just really inspired, thinking we're going to lick this thing. We got it. And uh, I hear about this anti-war rally taking place down the steps of a Monument Circle. So I show up, and there's 18 of us. <laughs> it was an enthusiastic 18, but it was 18 of us. So when I was in Austin, I wanted to see what it looked like when it was done right in the States. So uh, I show up and there's thousands of people spread out across the lawn. Just uh, all kinds of positive energy, people singing, having a great time, dancing. And uh, I start hearing music coming from the center of the crowd. So I started making my way through, powering through, and I finally get up to the very front. And they have this little stage set up with a PA and there's folks singing and playing songs. So I'm standing there taking it in. About that time, this fellow walks up to me who works at a radio station in San Antonio and they're nice enough to play my records. And he says, Otis, why aren't you playing this thing? And I said, well, nobody asked me. So within about three minutes, they put this guitar on me and they had me pushed out in front of all these people. And I had about 2,000 people singing along to the chorus of this next song. And the moral of the story is you just never know when you're about to stumble upon a really good gig. <laughs> My dad had a different way of saying it. He liked to say that the sun even shines on a dog's ass every now and then. <laughs> I never really understood my dad very much back when, but he's making a hell of a lot more sense these days. So what I'd like for you guys to do is I'd like for you guys to uh, sing along. And I'm usually the guy at the gig who's hiding in the corner and doesn't want to sing, but that's all right. Just embrace your inner nerve and sing out loud. The words are, one day our whispers will be louder than your screams. And I'll sing it a couple times myself, and then you guys will join in. One day our whispers will be louder than your screams. One day our whispers will be louder than your screams. One day our whispers will be louder than your screams. The people's day. I sang this song for you, Big Bill Haywood and Mother Jones too. Sacco and Ben said it and took your lives, but we can organize. One day our whispers will be louder than your screams. One day our whispers will be louder than your screams. Strange. 